Hello everyone and welcome to Downhaven Entertainment. Today we will be reviewing Edge of Tomorrow. You'll have to excuse me, I picked, I picked up a little virus, um, so my circuits are a little screwed up today, so good deal to meet my heart. Oh, mist. Hi, yet Chris. Raise it, me Seriously, who's the man behind these trailers? Whoever this guy is, we need to fire him. And I know it's only one guy because 90% of these trailers are so darn formulaic and uninspired that it has to be done by one soulless person, lying to the audience, making decent to good films look awful. If I didn't review movies, I'd skip this flick and pursue my other dream of becoming a robot gigolo. But I'm happy to say this flick ain't too bad. Now let's get into the movie. The movie stars Tom Cruise. Yes, Tom Cruise. I thought he was gonna play another other dude named Jack run around, blow stuff up, and just be Tom Cruise. Not the whole case here, it's a 50-50 thing. I'm glad he was in this movie because it shows that Tom Cruise does have range. Because at the beginning of this movie, he's not the Tom Cruise guy character. He was the character that he was meant to play. I didn't see Tom Cruise. I actually saw the character he was portraying. A wussy punk prick and that was so unexpected and a breath of fresh air. And one crucial detail that actually drew me into the movie. But as he evolved later on in the movie, he became the Tom Tom Cruise, which we all know, which didn't bother me too much, but I was still wanting Tom Cruise to channel some other character besides the Tom Cruise hero guy. But don't get me wrong, he was great in this movie. Thumbs up. Emily Blunt. This is a side of her I've never seen. Athletic, strong wheels, muscular. I mean, you can cut diamond on those guns of hers. She was great in this movie as well, and I didn't expect to be all that impressed by her in this movie, based on I've never personally seen her like this before, and those god-awful trailers. Thumbs up. The rest of the cast is expendable, but they weren't a burden to the plot. They served their purpose and did a fine job. Thumbs up. Now let's talk about what worked for the movie. If we are uno traveling as no traves. Oye, jota quas. Te necesito de nuevo. There was that one tracking shot that they spoil in the trailer that was done seamlessly where Tom Cruise's character was falling from a plane all the way to the ground. Beautiful shot and the war looks so real and intense mainly because of the use of practical effects mixed with CGI. It was all seamless and none of it took me out of the movie superb job. These aliens, oh my gosh, these aliens, they were unbelievable. Just awesome. I can't really describe them without spoiling anything if you haven't seen the movie yet because that's one thing the trailer got right, letting these aliens be a surprise. I would say they're a mix between a lion, an octopus, and a transformer, given high doses of crack cocaine, dipped in sugar, and pure caffeine. Holy crap, these things were Perfect. Superb job. The writing. Good stuff here. The movie was kind of lighthearted and fun, which I really enjoyed. Yes, it has its dark moments, but they didn't linger on its darkness. They didn't shift the tone from fun to dark and gritty. It knew what it wanted to be and was self-aware. And the writing for women. Great. Okay, look, Maleficent. This is how you write strong women. If you want your female protagonist to look strong and independent, the secret to making a good female character is to just make a character strong and independent, despite if it's male or female. It shouldn't matter, because in this movie, if their roles were reversed from Tom Cruise to Emily Blunt, these two characters would be awesome. What a breath of fresh air. I also loved how the alien threat were actually threatening, you know, cause a lot of movies claim to have a very threatening villain, but you really don't feel the threat of the antagonist. The Matrix, for example. They say the agents are the most threatening thing anyone would face, but do you actually see the agents throw down and take out a whole bunch of human resistance? No, they're a threat because the script says so. And don't even get me started in a Marvel department over there. But in this movie, these alien things took no mess. They were there to search and destroy. No dramatic effect kills where they take their time before they kill our main protagonist. These things were out to get you and you better run as fast as you can if you see one coming towards you. 
unlike other movies. Now let's talk about what didn't work. Two things. While I love the aliens in this movie, they got into cliche territory and having this queen bee logic that most alien invasion movies have that we've seen over and over and over and over again. Now it didn't take me out of the story at all, mainly because of how lighthearted it was, but it was that element that made the movie feel that more blah in my opinion you know it's like it would be funny if the roles were reversed you know the only way to stop the human military is to take out president obama and to shoot me up nani kure choto kaskete anata yori montoni no ma da tone mozeboli oh this sucks Suam mai Duas meninas un capo e bruto Fecho a boca Eu sei que o coco é o faço Mas a muito é convencente Quem faz isso? Iso nejento Pararo Ho 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 I am French Oui oui Pri pri Anyway, that ending, yeah, that ending was a cop-out. I mean, really, what a cop-out. They just threw it in our face like, here you go, take it for what it's worth and go home. It didn't make much sense and it came out of left field, but at the same time, I saw it coming a mile away. I mean, really, this is a Tom Cruise movie. More recently with his films, we're getting these BS conclusions, but it didn't affect the movie too bad because at the very, very end, I love how they concluded it. It made the movie feel that much much more fun. Overall, a very decent movie that's not getting a good tracking record when it comes to the moolah. Probably because of the prick who did this awful trailer for this movie. But the flick is very funny, full of great action, has enough suspense to keep me invested, but I did feel this movie was about 10 to 15 minutes too long because I was about ready to go because I kind of saw where the movie was headed. But I had a lot of fun. You know what, now I want to go check out Jack Reacher because I skipped that movie based on the trailer. Maybe that movie is good too. So after adding all this up, I have to give this movie a solid B+. I'll see you guys next week with 22 Jump Street and hopefully The Signal. Have you seen the trailer for The Signal? Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Whoa, 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 Jay Quas, put the gun down. I'm speaking English just for...